I also think it's important to say again, as I have uh, done all along, uh, that our alcohol industry is an important part of our economy. Uh, as we do now, we will continue to offer support to businesses uh, to grow, including to grow in the export market. And we will work with them to use all of the levers at their disposal to assist in reducing alcohol consumption, uh, including, for example, where this is appropriate, promoting lower strength products. Uh, yes. Patrick Harvey. Uh, I'm grateful to the Minister. I've, I've made this point before, but I'll make it again. Does the government share the view that this is also a matter which should make us think about the structure and the ownership structure of the alcohol industry? This is an industry which we allow to supply recreational drugs right throughout Scotland. We should be much more clear about regulating that industry and taking back control from the hands of a tiny number of multinationals whose profits come from volume sales instead of quality. Cabinet Secretary. Well, what I would say to Patrick Harvey is that I think there are bigger issues to deal with than simply that um, in this bill. Uh, but I do believe our alcohol industry uh, has got a great deal to offer our country and our economy. Uh, but I think it is in their interest as much as it is in the interest of any of the rest of us to deal with the overconsumption of alcohol. And I guess the central point I am making here is that our plans for minimum pricing and the other measures we are taking and a thriving drinks industry are not mutually exclusive. All of us stand to benefit from reducing alcohol-related harm.